I feel like there's a huge opportunity. I feel like the world, particularly the United States, is listening in a, do, in a new way. And it is our opportunity to be truthful around what we're hearing and how we're actually moving those stories forward. America has always been a place of courage from the immigrants who crossed the seas to take a chance on America, many knowing that they would never see their homes again. Presidential families are like ordinary families on steroids. And I think that like the dynamics we see in our own families are magnified in, in presidential families. Okay. Small portion at the White House is a must mm -hmm. because you feed them every single day, mm -hmm. lunch and dinner. So we had an executive chef at the White House. He didn't stay there very long. He used to cook steak for the president and first lady. That would be about like that. So one day I went to him, I said, Sir, are you trying to kill the president? <laughs> or are you trying to <laughs> feed him? <laughs> technology solutions and energy solutions and, and policy and um, you know it is sort of these it is the way that we live and there's I think nothing kind of more personal and emotional than that. The system sometimes doesn't allow itself to be fixed. It's not simply that people don't want to run the gauntlet, it's sometimes the gauntlet is impossible to make it through. In his speech at the 1960 convention, he asked Americans to join him in crossing a new frontier. In his inaugural address, President Kennedy challenged Americans with his immortal call to service. In response, they marched for civil rights and human rights. They served in the Peace Corps and later the Job Corps. President Kennedy mobilized an entire generation who transformed America. Okay, what do you see in your world, in your window, what are you seeing? Are you, do you like the way the earth is right now? Can you think of ways to improve it? Uh, is it, think about the good and the bad of it, the future, the past of it, where we're going, what should we do? We did something as a civilization that everybody had used as a literal symbol of impossibility. Oh yeah, that'll happen when a man walks on the moon and they had to change that metaphor um, in 1969. And so we all got to witness that as a civilization and it really made people realize the kinds of things that we can do. Let's do this. We're gonna get the countdown, all the phones up in the air. There's 10, nine, nine eight, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. There it there goes. goes. The Saturn V rocket. Look at it, wow. straining really against the bounds. Incredible, it's right? It's amazing.